another little project going on. Um, on occasion, I get some people that uh, call me up and want me to do a little bit of work on their bikes. You know, this is a simple project I'll be doing, putting in some passenger pegs, um, putting in a uh, sissy bar backrest, and then also running a uh, red LED light right here. Now what we got is a 2011 uh, Harley Davidson Sportster. Real easy mod. Um, man, you know, this is probably one of my favorite motorcycles that Harley Davidson makes, all the Sportsters. And I used to have one. Um, it's a great motorcycle. I mean, they're pretty much indestructible. They're based off that Evolution motor. So man, I mean, once you get these things dialed in, or even if you leave it alone from the factory, right from the dealer, it's gonna run forever. As long as you change the oil, you just do all your regular routine maintenance on it, man, you're not gonna have any problems with this bike. Let's get started on it. And let's knock this uh, little job out. <laughs> just finished uh, putting on right side passenger peg you can see right here and then a couple of things that I want to show you on this particular model what you have to do to get in here so you'll see that there's a bolt here and then there's a bolt down here now the only issue is there's an exhaust bracket that holds this exhaust in order for you to get those two bolts in there you gotta remove the rear exhaust. You gotta take off the sprocket cover. To loosen up your forward control to drop that, this bracket has to come off. So just so you know, that's what you gotta do on this particular model on this side, okay? The other side is much easier, and I'll show you what you gotta do with it, okay? A hole right here with threads, and then this bolt comes out, and then your peg goes there, and then that's it. This holds, um, it's got a little bracket here that holds, this is your brake uh, fluid reservoir, and it's just, the tubing to it and then as well as the other brake line for it. So this side should be a lot less. See how easy that was? That, you know, and then you're good to go. Nice and torqued down, really good. Moving on. Alright, so the next thing we're going to be figuring out is putting on this little cool backrest on it, man. A little sissy bar. Got the sissy bar pad on it. It's actually really cool looking. It, uh, I like that nice high up look. You know, it's going to look pretty slick. So let's figure that out and then uh, let's get that on there. Backrest. This is the little sissy bar. Looks pretty cool, man. It actually, um, it goes really good. So, to kind of put this on, what you got to do is you got to remove this bolt and this bolt from the fender bracket. It holds that in place, and then you replace it with these Allen bolts. And it's got a nut on the back side of it, and then it's got these uh, plastic bushings um, where the actual backrest slides into, and then it locks into place. So let's move on to the next thing. We are going to be putting a light on the back side of here and then plumbing in those wires to the bike itself. So that's the next thing that we got to do. this light and just trying to figure out so here's my ground that we're going to 
gonna be one in there. And then of course we got to run these wires uh, in here. So what that does is allows this particular light here to stay on as running light. And then when you hit the brake, it you know intensifies it, and then we go from there um, without it flashing while your flashes. Because the way that this bike is set up is that right now these are your brake lights and they're your flashers. But you don't want your center brake light to be flashing, so we have to wire it accordingly. So that's what we're going to be working on. Before I do that, I need to go ahead and install it and run the wire through and make sure we get it in there nice and neat. Um, and then we can go ahead and connect everything in here. So uh, now that we know where to wire it, let's get on it. man so there you have it we got this uh, Harley Davidson Sportster um, we got set up with the passenger pegs you saw that was a pretty easy job but like I said on this side you got to take off some stuff you got to take off some brackets you know and kind of get to the bolts over here on the left side super easy it took like 10-15 minutes you know um, we went ahead and added this uh, sissy bar the bolts you got to remove them from right here everything snaps in and then we added this really sweet looking uh, chopped flush mount uh, rear brake light. But we got it wired to where these remain the brake and your turn signals. And this is your running light and your brake light. So um, let me just uh, give it a spin, make sure everything is running right. project on the side make a little extra money on the side perfect little job man so anyway until next time deuces yeah.